On tonight's news, 7 year old worker at the KP factory loses his job as the old man nutsack reaches new low. Prime Minister David Cameron appointed new head of Slytherin. Tiny pianist delights many. Stephen Hawking revealed to be just a calculator with delusions of grandeur. And Pope Benedict warns a young Jedi that the deflector shield will still be operational when his friends arrive. All of this and more coming up on the 6pm news book. I'm Langley Duncans. And I'm Bab Snightly. And our first story tonight is an astonishing breakthrough in the animal world. Drunken scientists in Oslo have put forward the claim that the humble panda is in fact a myth. And that the entire species are in reality just a bunch of goth polar bears. Our nature correspondent Louisa Japsberger has more on this story. And I agree with that. So what happened then? Well I just walked up to him and I told him to stop. But by the end he'd already gone through about half a dozen donkeys. Just faking them off a cliff over there. I told him it'd never work. I told him donkeys can't fly. He says, Are you ever going to learn? Must have been very distressing for you. It's mad. You think that guy used to be a winner in the X Factor? And here he is, reduced to this, faking donkeys off a cliff. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, <coughs> sorry, that wasn't the uh, report we thought it was. I believe Babs queued up the wrong tape there. She is smiley, but, uh, but, but inept. Um, bit of drinking at lunchtime because of the old issues. Um, so, oh yes, right, okay. Uh, we have confirmation we can now return you to our top story. Ace reporter Louisa Japsberger is in Norway and ready to bring us up to speed. Any, any second now she's, she's going to do that. I don't have issues. <laughs> yeah, you did have a drink though, didn't you? <laughs> In recent farm attacks. It's hard to know where this trail of animal carnage from former TV stars will end. Police in Antrim have already arrested pop idol star Darius Dinesh over a particularly graphic tweet in which he threatened to throw a penguin in a cement mixer. Animal rights activists have now started to th Oh, <laughs> yes, um, ha <laughs> ha, how much did you drink there, Babs? It looks like we <coughs> got the wrong footage again. I am as God made me, sir. Oh, yes, um, could I stop you there? I'm hearing in my earpiece that there is a fat man sitting on an unsteady bench in a local park. More on that story as it breaks. Yes, I believe Louisa Jaffberger is finally able to join us with more on that goth panda scandal. Louisa, can you tell us exactly what these drunken scientists in Oslo have been saying on the story? Hi, I'm Dexley Wexler. Have you ever had an accident at work? Did you ever trip over a stapler and decapitate yourself? Did you ever spill coffee on your computer because someone put an arrow through your head? Or was your work day fine until you were mugged by ninjas who said you had fat thighs? If so, and you want a no win, no fee, legal claim, then don't hesitate another moment and contact someone who deals with stuff like that. Not us. Don't contact us. We don't do that sort of thing. We make buns. Tasty, tasty buns. Cream horns, donuts, snowballs, the type you sell your grandma's kidney for. I love buns. Yes, Beyonce. Yes, you do. You all do. Buy them today at a bun shop, because that's what we make. Buns. Mmm, grab a handful of Wexler's buns. On, I think we're on.
Yes, well, um, that, that wasn't the report we were looking for. It seemed to be an advert. For buns? Yes, for buns. Thanks for that insight. Uh, it certainly wasn't a reporter in the field. Wasn't even a field. <sighs> We'll just have to leave our, our top story behind for the moment and, and move on to a roundup of, of local news with our very own Babs Knightley. Um, I, I have uh, nothing here. It was kind of a quiet day locally. Nothing much going on. Which, you know, I suppose in a way is a good thing. No news is good news, right? We are the news. Um, oh, I do have a bit of gossip about Fiona and accounts. It's kind of news if you know her. I, I don't think they, they will. Know. Well, it turns Where's out it? she snogged Ryan, the IT guy. You know the one that looks like a shit and badger in a wind tunnel? Well, it turns out he's engaged to the girl from editorial who smells of B.O. and Mandolin. And she caught them bogging into each other outside Bilderberger. And well, Fiona ended up throwing her diet sprite all over them and running off into the night. Wow, that, uh... Could, do, could we have the, the weather uh, queued up? Is the weather queued up? Can we cut to anything, anything but this? <laughs> you didn't even pay for her burger. Please, please stop talking. And the poor girl gets panic attacks now every time she smells wonderly. You are the worst person I have ever met in my professional career. Okay, uh, you were, you were so wasted last night. Oh, I don't even drink half as much as that anymore. Yeah. Not since that time I threw up in the waste paper basket. I was like a colander for puke. Totally ruined that week. <sighs> <sighs> nothing. I've got nothing here. Hello? Hello there? Did they say they were coming to us next? Ah, uh, they make stuff up all the time. Could be anything. <sighs> Dying for a poo for about 20 minutes. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Imagine we could do the news like that. Just farting and maybe put some subtitles underneath it. And 87 people died in that attack. <laughs> and 87 people died in that attack. <laughs> <sighs> Seriously, I don't know why I do this. I hate the news. Do you know what I do like? Mm -hmm. Cash in the attic, babe station. <laughs> well, not at the same time. <laughs> I imagine they were at the same time. Ran the attic. Yeah. Right, that's it. I quit. I think that was the live feed. Yeah. Not, not the weather. <laughs> Channel 9 was better than this. And now, the weather. Please. Hi. I'm Dexley Wexler. Have you ever had an accident at work? Did you ever trip over a stapler and decapitate yourself? Did you ever spill coffee on your computer because someone put an arrow through your head? And our first story tonight is an astonishing breakthrough in the world of animal science. Drunken scientists in Oslo have put forward the claim that the humble, hum humble, humble, <laughs> 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 
you got that first thing. Like, we really, were like animals. Polar bears. Our nature correspondent Louisa Japsberger has more on this story. And I agree. <laughs> Buns. Yes, you do, Beyonce. No. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, Beyonce. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. All of this and more are coming up on the 6 p.m. news book. <laughs> I'm Langley Duncans. <laughs> um, sorry, that uh, wasn't the report we, we thought it was. <laughs> I believe Baps. Baps? <laughs>